So, do you think you have the math skills to solve this problem without using a calculator? Well, hopefully you do, but uh, let's find out. The problem is 4 to the 3 halves power. What is this equal to? Well, this is not that difficult, and again, we're not using a calculator. And if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so once again, we have 4 to the 3 halves power. What is this equal to? Well, the correct answer here is the following. It is 8. Okay, so if you got that right, well, you definitely get a happy face in the A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. U2 Math Man, I know you said this was easy, but I am still confused. What's going on? Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. Okay, so the key to solving this problem is to understand a few concepts or rules about powers and exponents and their relationship to radicals. So this symbol in mathematics is called a radical, and we can actually express a power and exponent as a radical and a radical as a power and exponent. So let's take a look at a few examples on how this works. So here is the square root of four. Now the square root of four is actually equal to four to the one half power. So when we uh, write uh, the square root, we have this radical, but really there's a little two right here. And the way this works is we're going to express a radical and we're gonna take whatever number is right here. Now again, in a square root, this is a two. We don't write that, but uh, that is going to be the denominator of this rational exponent. So this topic in mathematics is called rational exponents, radicals, and powers. They're all kind of, they're all kind of linked together. So again, four to the one half power is the same thing as the square root of four. So let's take a look at another example. So the cube root of eight is equal to eight to the one third power. So again, the way this works is whatever little number is right here in this radical, that is going to be the denominator and one will always be the numerator. Okay, so the cube root of eight, again, is equal to eight to the one third power. And this is called a rational exponent because this is a rational number and this is called a radical. So again, you can express radical expressions as rational exponents and vice versa. Okay, so let's take a look at another principle that we need in order to solve this problem. Okay, so our question here is four to the three halves power. Now we can express four uh, to the three halves power as four to the one half to the third power. So the way this works is that we can take this three and multiply it by one half and we'll get back to three halves. But to why can we do that? Well, we have another principle of powers and exponents and these are called properties or laws. And here is the way this works. So let's take a look at this simple example, two to the third power squared. So two to the third power squared is equal to two to the sixth power. So the way this works is you're going to multiply the outside exponent to the in, uh, inside exponent. Of course, that is six. But uh, let's just kind of prove this to ourselves here. So two to the third power means what? Well, it means take two and multiply it by itself three times. So what we're doing here is taking this number and we're squaring it. That means take this and multiply it by itself. So we're gonna take two to the third power and multiply it by itself. So really this is two times two times two times two times two times two, which of course is two to the sixth power. So again, when you have an outside exponent and an inside exponent, all you need to do is multiply. So that is why four to the one half, all this in parentheses to the third power is equal to four to the uh, three halves power. Okay, so with these two uh, concepts, you should be able to solve this problem. All right, so here we go. Four to the three halves power is equal to four to the one half power to the uh, th uh, to the third power. So let me say that again because I was kind of stumbling on my words. So four to the three halves is equal to parentheses four to the one half parentheses to the third power. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson 
on every single topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. All right, so now that we know a thing or two about powers and exponents and radicals, we can easily solve this problem without a calculator. So 4 to the 3 halves power is equal to 4 to the 1 half to the third power. Now, the reason uh, we want to uh, write this uh, power and exponent in this manner is that now we know that 4 to the 1 half is the same thing as the square root of 4, and the square root of 4, of course, is 2. So really, this problem comes down to what is 2 to the third power, and that is 2 times 2 times 2, which our final answer is 8. All right, so once again, as long as you understand the properties of powers and exponents and radicals, you should be able to do uh, a lot of problems like this without your calculator. But the key is to really first understand what these properties are and then practice, practice, practice. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.